Um, what what y'all think of Malik's performance? What would impress you? Yeah, I just think he had this, this situation. I was very proud of Malik. Um, he came out there and, uh, you know, he was thrown into a, you know, the backup role today and went out there and, and played really well. Um, ran the ball well, had some big, big throws. Thought he kept his composure. Um, obviously not the outcome we want, but just as a, you know, personal standpoint, I'm, I'm proud of him. Did y'all give um, Yeah, I agree with Bumper and everything he said. He's a young guy, put into a situation that I think he excelled at. Um, He's still young, but man, he made some awesome plays today. That I think the future is only going to get brighter for him. Well, what was he like in the high one and then maybe James? Yeah. Um, he knew his role and uh, he kind of lived up to that. Uh, we, of course, we didn't get the outcome that we got. Uh, he, he did his thing. He came in and led us and he made plays on fourth down, third down with his legs. So he did his thing. He did, he did what he was supposed to do. Jaden, was was Malik different in the game compared to practice? Sam said that he was kind of a he's kind of a gamer. He, did you notice a difference with the bright lights on with Malik? Um, yeah. So, uh, you know, Kate obviously won the job in practice. Um, things weren't working out, so he threw Leak in, and Leak did what he had to do. Uh, so yeah, he would be technically a gamer. Yeah, even though he's talented anyway. It looked like you kind of got hurt on that one long proceeding play. You came back and you just dislocated your shoulder. Uh, I have an AC joint sprain and uh, kind of playing on that. Well, Coach said you're pretty banged up. How banged up are you? And what's it take for you to get ready with him here at the senior to get ready game after game? Yeah, honestly, that's kind of been one of the biggest challenges this year. Um, I've been uh, battling with some, you know, an injury um, in my hip and, you know, just having a, you know, a fight every single day to, you know, make sure that you can put your best foot forward for your teammates. Um, you know, it's never easy, especially when you lose. Um, but I've just tried my best uh, to make sure that I can give them, give them everything I have, no matter, you know, how I'm feeling. Were you spreading that well you were in the box? You're obviously not the fix because they came out running and that was pretty good. Yeah, they did a good job. Um, you know, we made some adjustments, um, tried to get our ends and some, some into some four eyes. Um, to help the ball, the ball bounce, um, but they had a good game plan. Um, they ran, they came out running the ball right away. Um, it just kind of felt we were on our heels um, from the jump. But you know, credit to them. They had some you know hard running uh, running backs, and their line played well. Did that surprise you at all that they came out right away with the ground game like that? Not necessarily. You just kind of look at their trend this year. They they've run the ball a lot. Um, they kind of got into had some success, and so they kept going with it. And then we, you know, make some adjustments, but you know, we we put ourselves in a hole uh, too early on. Bumper, you talked last week about finishing the game defensively against Alabama. You guys gave up 19 in the second half today. What is it about being able to finish the game defensively for y'all? Yeah, I mean, it's we're, we emphasize it every week. Um, we just got to continue to um, lock in our our fundamentals late in the game. You know, whenever you're playing, um, you get a lot of snaps on you, and you get tired, you you start you know reverting back. And so we just got to continue to make sure that we're um, on top of our, you know, our keys whenever we get tired. I guess for, for Don and Jaden, I mean, when Malik comes in, the very first thing he does is go around and go 52 yards. What would you think of that? Kind of how exciting was that? How, how much of that fire you see off that side? That's nothing new for him. Uh, he's a speedy guy. So uh, plays like that is kind of regular to us. The world just kind of seen it today. Yeah, I agree with uh, what he said. He made an excellent read off the uh, what his actual read was, I guess, the best way to put it. But he made an excellent read, pulled the ball, went for the sideline first down, and then tried to go for the touchdown as well, too. Did his job perfectly on that play and brought a lot of juice to the O line, put a lot of confidence from us into him. And, you know, like I said earlier, like I'm so excited for Malik's future. He's going to have a great, great few years here. What's his uh, demeanor like? In uh, calm, cool, collected, no matter what's going on. He's making sure checks are in order, making sure our spots are right. You know, it's important to communicate to a young quarterback as well so he can understand where he's hot, where he's, you know, where we're sliding to or where we're trying to run the ball, who we're leaving for him to read. But overall, he handled it like a pro today. You know, I hate to use the word gamer because he's he's still a very talented player and he does a lot of really good things in practice still too. But, man, he showed up today. He did an awesome job. Well, what's that communication like? 
Um, it wasn't it wasn't too awful today. We just we were hurrying up, trying to go as hurry up as fast as we could. Um, miscommunications that happened. You know, they're obviously a defense that moves around a lot, likes to fill gaps, likes to, you know, just bring the house on us. And some miscommunications, mis IDs caused some critical errors and critical situations. I just could think that Sam made a point to say there's losing games and then there's being a loser. And you guys aren't losers. And you know, last year you had a tough patch to come back from. Was it maybe you two could just what, 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 what's team mindset right now? How did you get over here? Yeah, um, honestly, I think the team mindset is just sick of it. You know, it's a horrible feeling losing three games in a row. You know, it's hard to get out of a rut like that, but we understand where the mistakes are coming from. Now it's time to fix it. You know, one game we were having issues blocking, another game with issues tackling, this game critical critical situations, red areas, third down, stuff like that. Like we know where the fixes need to come from and how it's on us to look within ourselves to how do we fix them? How do we get it handled? Let's get back to basics. Yeah, I mean, I've um, I said in front of y'all, you know, when we played here, what, four years ago, and there was a completely different uh, a mindset after that game, after that loss. The guys in this locker room are fighters. Um, we're obviously not not anywhere close to being happy with how we played, but there's just a different feel in there. Uh, guys want, wanting to continue to work on their craft, and um, there's no quitting everybody in there. And that's one thing that, you know, you come out here and you have a, you know, an a and a game like NM, game like Alabama, and then this week, um, they're emotional games. And, you know, there's, you know, there can be an overreaction, but um, the guys in the locker room still believe and still want to fight. Aubrey, you mentioned a different feel in the air. I know playing in Colorado is kind of different. Is there something that you guys are going to do this week with the elevation? You got to prepare yourself for that? I mean, I think just extra conditioning. Obviously, it's going to help for us, um, you know, regardless if we're playing in altitude or not. So, you know, that's kind of the only thing that we, we can, you know, control. You all played at Fort Collins a couple of years ago. Did you sense that? Honestly, it was um, kind of one of the nicest weather we've, we've we played in because, you know, in the south, it's hot in, you know, August or September, uh, whenever the game was. So, it actually felt pretty good. That's well, one, DJ. You mentioned uh, making adjustments on defense. I, I saw a lot. The quarterback had a lot of time in the pocket, rushing three. I feel like a lot was asked the linebackers to drop in the coverage and also be responsible for the check down. I feel like they hit the check down all day. Were there discussions about an adjustment to like put y'all in a better situation to cover that? Because I feel like that's what kept their drops a lot. A lot. Yeah, I mean, it's difficult. Um, like I said earlier, whenever you get into a hole early, um, you have a game plan that, you know, that game plan specific is to to make them make mistakes and, and they didn't make any mistakes. And so whenever you go down early, 14, uh, 14 points, and we had a ball that was almost picked off, you know, certain little you know, little things like that early in the game. You can't just completely change your game plan going into it. Um, but I, I like the game plan we had going in. We just got into a hole early. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.